Somebody help me, can't help myself. Hey guys, it's Claudia from Cascade FM, and today with us we have a brand new life. How's everyone doing? Alright, how did you get started with music? Man, you know, uh, music has always been a part of my life. Uh, I've always, I've been an athlete all my life. So, you know, just getting up the game and stuff, and I always hear these music, like, oh man, I just love the energy of music. So, um, but the music I listen to, I, I couldn't relate to it. I could relate to the energy, but the content, I really couldn't relate to. So I was like, you know what, I want to make music that has the same energy, but I put my own content into it. And, that, and that's how I really got started, man. Just, just being so involved in music, just kind of being like the soundtrack to my life. Yeah, and your songs, do you write them yourself? I, I, write, I write all my songs. Uh, productions, I mean, with the with this online, what it is today, I can reach out to different producers. And when I hear something I like, man, I I, I don't even hesitate. Like, I'm, I'm on top of them. I ain't like, hey, I love to work with you. I love your beat. Because once I hear a beat, the beat tells me what to write. It just something. That's amazing. And your lyrics are inspired by true events? Or? Oh, man, uh, it's, it's about, about three things. It's uh, actual life events, um, uh, desires that I might want, you know? And also I try to make some things that just relate to my fans or different uh, friendships I've had where I've heard different scenarios and stuff. So it's just a collaboration of everything that I've ever experienced and things I've witnessed and heard. That's great. Are you working on anything currently? Um, right now I'm working on my third album. It's called uh, The Human Not Part 2. Um, and it, it's just going to be a variety of music from, you know, hip hop to, to ratchet strip club music. But also from pop with a mixture of EDM type stuff, man, because um, I want the second album to really en en engulf everything about it have experience. From me growing up listening to Young G and T.I. Rick Ross, but also me listening to things from Adele, Justin Bieber, uh, Sean uh, Mendez, and all, that, all these guys, and Pitbull. And like, you know what, like, you know what, let me just take all these influential people and music that I've heard and let's just make, let's just combine it all and make some good music. Yeah, so what would you say, you, how do you see yourself in 10 years? Oh man, in 10 years, man, I think, um, I think music is going to open so many doors for me as far as acting and just the whole entertainment industry. So I see myself not only being in music, but also maybe doing like the scores for music or whatnot, at least having a, a one song on the, on the, on the movie. You know what I'm saying? So that that part of, of um, the 10 years really excites me because I've always been a fan of music and, and movies. Yeah, fingers crossed. I'd love to see that. Oh, man. So you too, what? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, and I also wanted to ask, what do you think of Cascade? Man, you know, I, I love what Cascade is doing. You know, really trying to be independent friendly, independent artist friendly. And me, with not having a major record label, you know, you're always trying to find an angle or something that may, you know, just where people are not trying to fight you, they try to take advantage of you. And because because sometimes a lot of indie artists, they are ignorant to what's out there and, and what um, possibilities they have. What Cascade do is put it on the forefront and I, as an indie artist, I can appreciate what they're doing, not only for me, but for up and coming artists who might just, I mean, just honestly, lucked up. If you heard about Cascade, you kind of just lucked up. And if you really don't know what's out there, because there's some people, it's some vultures out there. And Cascade is a bright light in it, you know, and I, I appreciate that. That's what we strive to achieve. That's yeah. good. And uh, you're based in New York City, right? I am based in New York City. What do you think of the music scene here? Oh, man. Um, you know, I'm based in New York City. From, I'm, both from, I'm from Alabama. New York is the mecca of music, you know what I'm saying? There's so many opportunities here. And like hip hop and, and music just really started here and, and, it, and branched out. Now being from Alabama, the last 10 year reign, down south has really taken over and they are influential in the hip hop world. But New York still holds, to me, the most opportunities to put your hands in different bowls in the, in the entertainment industry. So I still appreciate what New York brings to the music industry. Yeah, it's the place to be. It is the place to be. You, it's no denying that if, you don't, if you're not big in New York, you, you're not gonna you're not gonna be too big. You can be big in your own market, but to, to really take it to the next level, you have to come to New York. There's no around it. One more question. Your new single, when can we catch it? Oh man, this new single is gonna be uh probably at the end of this month. It's called Be Great. Um it's an inspirational song, it's a spoken word piece that I did that I wanted to put like some really nice background uh, music to it. 
So I'm really excited about it. I feel like, I feel like in these times, especially as a, a black man, um, you just need some words of encouragement to say, you know what, uh, despite what's going on, still focus on being great and being a great person and being a, a great, um, I guess, a mentor to whoever's up on me. And that's what it's all about to me. It's just about showcasing and showing these kids out here that, you know what, it's not where you're from, you still can strive to be great. That's a beautiful one. We can't wait to hear it. All right. Hey, I appreciate you having me. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Thank no problem. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yes.